Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss radius of convergence and interval of convergence. So let us discuss radius of convergence. So we are going to discuss a radius of convergence of such power series. Okay. So we are familiar with this power series n running from 0 to infinity c n x raised to n. So radius of convergence of such power series is defined in this way. If there exist r greater than 0 such that see we want a positive real number r okay such that for any x belongs to r with mod x less than r that means we want any real number x whose mod is less than r then for that value of x okay for that particular value of x the C, uh, series cn x raised to n is absolutely convergent absolutely that means if you apply mod then also it is a convergent series okay let me remove this part and for any x belongs to r again we can take any x which is a real number with this condition mod x greater than r then the series is divergent then the series n running from 0 to infinity c n x raised to n is divergent getting so then we say r is a radius of convergence then r is called radius of convergence of power series summation n running from 0 to infinity c n x raised to n okay so if you take any real number x whose mod is less than r then the for that particular value of x okay the series is absolutely convergent and if you take any real number whose mod is greater than r then the series is divergent okay let us discuss one example suppose we have a series okay suppose we have such series uh, we are taking any arbitrary series suppose c and x raised to n and we know that its radius of convergence is 5 generally we denote it by r so the radius of convergence is 5 then this definition says if mod x less than 5 then series is convergent and if mod x greater than 5 then the series is divergent we are getting the point so we are familiar with one result we are family that mod a less than b if and only if minus b less than a less than b okay so uh, mo most probably you are familiar with this result so that result i am applying here see mod x less than 5 that means minus 5 less than x less than 5 so that means if x lies between minus 5 and 5 the series is convergent and if x uh, mod of x is greater than 5 that means either x is less than minus 5 or x is greater than 5 so let me draw on a real line this is a zero we have suppose we have 5 here and suppose we have minus 5 here okay so if you take any point okay whose mod is less than 5 that means which lies in this interval suppose your x is here it can be 1 it can be 2 which can lie in this interval then for that particular value of x if you put it here the series is convergent that means the sum is finite you are getting the point if you take any point inside this interval suppose your x is minus 3 no problem you can put it here series will look like this if you put it here cn uh, minus 3 raised to n then the series sum is finite that means the series is convergent and if you take any point outside the interval suppose minus 6 or on that side if you take 7 and if you put it here at a place of x the series is divergence that means the sum is not finite it can be plus infinity or it can be minus infinity getting the point so that is called radius of convergence so for any uh, given power series if we can find r such that positive real number r such that for mod x less than r the series is convergent and for mod x greater than r the series is divergent then we say the uh, r is a radius of convergence of that power series okay so this is definition of radius of convergence after that we are going to discuss uh, definition of interval of convergence okay 
just make a screenshot of it then we will go further so the next concept is interval of convergence okay it is associated with the concept of radius of convergence so suppose we have a power series having a radius of convergence r okay so let me clearly mention here if r is a radius of convergence of this power series summation n running from 0 to infinity c n x raised to n r is a radius of convergence you know the definition of radius of convergence if mod x less than r then the for x for that x the power series is absolutely convergent and if mod x greater than r then for that value of x the series is divergent okay so such r we have r is the radius of convergence then minus r comma r is called an interval of convergence okay it is called an interval of convergence okay so just before that uh, this definition we have discussed one example so in that case we had taken five is a radius of convergence so there we had got an interval you remember we had got an interval minus five comma five that means if five is a radius of convergence then we go with this condition by using that result we can write minus five less than x less than five so indirectly we get an interval for that if you take any point inside the interval then for that point the series is convergent and if you take any point outside the interval either on that this side or that side doesn't matter then for that point the series is divergent right so if r is a radius of convergence minus r comma r r is interval of convergence okay so let us discuss few cases if r is equal to 0 that means we will have an interval 0 comma 0 then interval of convergence is phi getting since if radius of convergence is 0 the interval is phi that means that power series does not converge anywhere okay it does not converge for any real number second case if r is equal to infinity then interval of convergence is interval of convergence will be let me remove this part the interval of convergence will be minus infinity comma infinity since the value of r is infinity that is that is nothing but r set of real line okay real numbers so yes so this is called interval of convergence so make a screenshot of it then we will stop thank you see you